How do I enable and disable a job in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.346.3. Also on this controller, I have a couple of jobs already set up. Now, if I wanted to disable a job using the UI, I have two different ways I can do that. I go into the job and then I can quickly click on disable project. And then once I take a look at this, I can re-enable the project. But watch the left navigation for just a moment. Notice I have a build now. When I click on disable project, the build now is gone. And then when I click on re-enable, it shows back up. Now that's number one. I can click on the button on the page for the job. The second way to do it is I go into configure and then scroll down and click on disable project. I click on save and now I can see that the project is currently disabled. I could click enable here or if I go back in and click on configure and uncheck the box disable this project, click save, now it's re-enabled. The other way that we can disable jobs and enable jobs is by using the CLI. So let's go over to our CLI, where I already have my Jenkins CLI jar downloaded. Now, if you've never downloaded the Jenkins CLI jar, the way that you do that is you go to Dashboard, Manage Jenkins, and towards the bottom, you'll see Jenkins CLI. And there is a link to download the Jenkins CLI.jar. So you would download this jar file. Now, the other thing that we need to do is go ahead and set up some environment variables. Let's go over into our shell and let's set up the first environment variable, which is the Jenkins user ID. And in this case, the user I'm using right now is admin, so I'm just going to set that value to admin. Secondly, we're going to go ahead and set up the Jenkins API token. And you can see there's a value here. This value is the value of the API token associated to admin, which was created by going underneath the user admin, clicking on the configure, and generating an API token. So the token that we see here within our shell is the token that is sitting underneath this admin token. Finally, let's go ahead and set up an environment variable for our Jenkins URL. What we're going to do is set up Jenkins URL set to HTTP Jenkins colon 8080, which is the URL for our Jenkins controller. And now we're ready to go ahead and use the Jenkins CLI. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say Java dash jar Jenkins dash CLI dot jar. And since we've already set up those environment variables, the Jenkins CLI jar will use those environment variables to connect to this controller. We're going to say disable dash job and then we'll say job one. Now you'll notice that job one is sitting right here at the root of the controller. When I click on that, we don't get an immediate response, but if we go back in and take a look at it in the UI and click on job one, we can see that the project is disabled. If I go ahead and go back in and say enable job, again, no response in the terminal, but if I go back over here and refresh this page, I can see that the project is now enabled. Now let's test one thing out. Let's go back over to our terminal. Let's disable the job. We can check and see right here, yes, the job is disabled. But now let's go ahead and try to build the job that's disabled. So if I type in build, we get an error back saying, cannot build job one because it is disabled, which is exactly what we wanted. Now, if I go ahead and go back in and enable the job, that's good. No response there. I go back here, take a look at it. The job is enabled. And if I run the build one more time and we take a look now, we can see that the job is running right down here. Now, how do we disable the job from the CLI if the job is in a folder? Well, let's take a look at the structure that we have here. I have an alpha folder and within the alpha folder, I have job two. So if I was to reference this in my CLI, the way I'm going to say this is disable dash job alpha slash job two. If we take a look at this, if we go into job two, we can see that it's currently disabled. If I go ahead and type in enable dash job, we can see that this job is now refreshed and back to enabled. But again, how did I know how to structure that? Take a quick look right here at the very top of the job. The full project name is alpha slash job two. I don't need a leading slash. I just need to go with whatever my full project name is and then use that full project name right here in the CLI. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.